The man through the vibration frequency of the railroad tracks quickly judged that the train full of gold, there are two kilometers to come here. So the robbers immediately moved to the manure, all smeared on the track, and then in the back, quickly pulled up 10 meters thick rope across the tracks fixed in the trees, which will be arranged as a dragnet, forming a perfect buffer zone, and finally carried a ton of heavy hornet's nest ready to fight. Soon, the train loaded with gold arrived at the bandit town. With the help of feces, the wheels of the train spun wildly in place, rubbing out fierce sparks. Seeing this, the robbers immediately rushed onto the train, quickly disposed of the dumbfounded guards, and then threw a one-ton hornet's nest into the security room. The crowd was instantly stung by the hornets and danced around, while another group took the opportunity to let off steam from the train. By the time the police attempted to counterattack, the robbers were surrounded by men with shotguns at the ready. Then they cut the valves between the cars, took the gold laying cars, and raced downhill. But because of the speed, the carriages instantly and quickly down the road. The robbers hit the steering wheel and tried to brake. The train is still speeding along. If they can't slow down, they'll be split into by the rope in front of them. But the train car can't stop, it's heading straight for the rope. The huge force uprooted the trees along the way. Luckily, there were enough ropes to stop the train. The robbers at the back rushed forward to meet them. When they opened the box, they were surprised to find that the gold was wrapped in small bags. The people were so excited that they started to divide the gold frantically. In no time, the whole train was looted. Then they quickly got on their white horses and retreated. The whole thing took less than five minutes. Meanwhile, the police arrived on the scene. John noticed that the train had been vaporized and was obviously not running. He had no choice but to pursue them on horseback. By the time he got there, all that was left of the train was a pile of tin. So he split up to investigate. In the jungle, he found a wagon used to carry gold, so it was obvious that the other party was probably nearby. Then he decided to go alone to look in the opposite direction. Sure enough, he found a robber. But just as it was about to go up to the robber to question him, he was attacked by his accomplice and was knocked unconscious by a gunshot. Now if they had John as a hostage, thought they could take the gold back to the south, but unexpectedly met the police stationed in the neighborhood. So they decided to take advantage of the darkness of the night, to quietly sneak away along the paths. But then John had an idea, he pulled the branch in front of him, and used the bath of the branch to hit the robber's horse behind him. The horse fell to the ground in shock. The loud noise alerted the police on the other side of the river. Seeing that the police were coming after them, the robbers hurriedly fled in all directions. In the panic, John dragged one of the robbers off his horse and asked them where their lair was. The next day, John came here disguised as a robber. A great western cowboy showdown begins. The leader of the bandits was the first to shoot the renegade. John shot him in the knee. The deputy then shot John in the thigh. At that moment, one of the robbers, a fat man, wanted to finish the job quickly and was carrying a dynamite bag to kill all the policemen, but he was shot by John. Then the fat man threw the dynamite bag with all his strength, but that two and a half meters distance, but blew himself to pieces. Soon both sides started a fierce battle. John was about to run out of ammunition. At this critical moment, help arrived just in time. They utilized their strong cover and caught the robbers off guard. The robbers threw down their weapons and ran for their lives, leaving the boss to take all the blame for them. He wanted to fight with John until nightfall, but the barrel of his gun blew up and disfigured his handsome face. Seeing that his men had already left on their white horses, he tried to follow them, but he was shot dead by John, who came to the scene. This is the 1970 American adventure movie Rio Lobo. A train loaded with gold is robbed. The sheriff, who arrived in a hurry to investigate, was taken hostage by the robbers. The robbers were passing through a small river when they met the police stationed on the other side of the river. The sheriff took the opportunity to escape from the robbers and found out where the robbers lived. He then closed as a robber to break into the robber's lair and fought with the robbers. In the end, he waited for reinforcements and beat the robbers to flee and even killed the leader of the robbers by himself. This story tells us, don't rob a cop's gold or you'll be shot by the police without mercy. I'm Zero Sense Film. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.